Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Service No Universe. Okay, this is my first uh, YouTube video, so I'm very excited today. Okay, so today we'll be discussing about how we can access the values from a JavaScript object. Okay, how many different ways we can access that? This might be uh, looking like a simple thing, but uh, we can access it in different ways. Okay, first we'll go and check uh, how we can access the data from a simple JavaScript object, and then we will go and how many different ways we can access the data from Glide Record object. Okay, and then we will go and how many different ways we can call the script include functions. Okay, currently we know only uh, the dot notation will uh, call the script include, and with the dot notation we will call the script include function. Okay, but uh, now we will discussing uh, we'll uh, discuss uh, in how many different ways we can call the script include function. Okay, so let me start off with uh, this. So let me create a. a simple javascript object okay so i'll say key one is my key and i'll say value one okay now as all of you know uh, i'll use gs.info function uh, to print the result here okay as all of you know we can access this by uh, writing this obj dot key one okay when i run the script we get the value one here Okay. Now uh, the different way how we can use this is using the square brackets. Okay. Now I can just pass the key here. That is key one. Okay. Now I can get the value here, value one. Okay. Now uh, why we need the square brackets when we have the dot notation there? So it's because when uh, there is a space in the key, okay, then we cannot use the dot one here. So when I use the dot, then key space one. This is not a correct syntax and that will definitely give us the error. Okay. Now I can use the square brackets here uh, to get the value out of this key value pair as well. So it's key space one using the uh, square brackets. Now I have the value here. Okay. So this is with the one level of uh, um, hierarchy here. So I can go up to many levels. Let me go to, I'll add one more object inside an object. Okay, that is the second level here. Now I will add that as key uh, two. Okay, key two. I'll say, and then <clears throat> I'll say value two here. Okay, value two. Now to access this, what I have to do is, uh, so if I do this, I'll get an object here again okay, because this is an object. Okay. Now if I want to access the key two as well, then I need to add one more square bracket, and then I need to pass key space to here that will give me the value to okay now if uh, these keys don't have the space in them okay then we would have used uh, key one dot like key underscore one dot key underscore two then this would have given us the value here that is the value to okay so i think uh, you got the difference between uh, using the dot and using the square bracket and why we use that okay now we can use this in the glide record object as well okay so let me go and hmm, remove this first let me go to the incident table so that we can query the incident table and uh, just get the values using the glide record okay so let me query variable grinc is equal to new glide record okay I'll add the incident table. Okay. Now grinc dot add query. Okay. Number. And then I'll add the number. Uh, I'll take this number first. Okay. Okay, then we can do grinc dot query. Okay, now uh, I'll add if grinc dot grinc dot next. Okay, now I'll I'll print the value of sh short description here. So let me just take. Uh, yeah, it is a test here short description is test so let me just print out this uh, so how we can print that again i'll use gs.info function okay 
and first way is everyone know that gr inc dot short underscore description okay uh, description okay so this will uh, give us the value output okay and the second way is i can add get value okay and i can do this So this also gives us uh, uh, the value okay yeah there's a mistake here in this problem. okay now uh, that also give us the value now in other way how we can use this is uh, let me just remove this using those square uh, brackets because grinc is nothing but the object which we created earlier right it is similar to the object uh, um, the javascript object what we created so here also we can use the square brackets using square brackets inside that i can add short description now if i print that you can see that is, uh, will get the value here now this will be helpful uh, however we have the get value function okay uh, we can use that uh, to access but this is a this is another way we can access that so uh, if for example we don't know what from what value what field we need to access the value uh, for example the uh, field we are getting it from somewhere else for example Okay. then we can use that field inside square brackets and we can get the value here or else we can use get value uh, field uh, as usual okay now uh, we can uh, we can dot walk again here like to get the caller id okay. let me just check uh, caller underscore id so to get the caller id's user name then also we can just do it like this uh, let me remove this okay we can just have caller underscore id and again square brackets under that user underscore name so you can dot walk, dot walk up to any level here you see we got admin so we can do that again with the dot notation as well everyone know about the dot walking okay dot and this and this okay so you know about this but when the square brackets are useful when we don't know from which field we need to access the uh, value for example if uh, we need to access the value from username we don't know that so uh, if we have that field uh, from somewhere we are getting that field for example system property or some other table okay then that field will be there in something uh, yeah that field will get in some variable and then we can use that variable and we can pass it here okay and then if you see uh, it will still give us the value but we cannot use that with uh, the dot notation so uh, after dot notation if i add field which is there in the variable this will not work okay but we can combine both dot and square bracket notation so what i can do is uh, instead of dot here i can add square bracket and i can add field that also will give me the value admin okay so hope this is uh, helpful so let me go to the next thing uh, i'll add this function okay i'll create a script include let me go to script includes new now we will check how many different ways we can access script include function okay this is most important actually sometimes we need to execute callback functions uh, we know the function name uh, but we need to uh, uh, we need to trick uh, we need to call it uh, from some script okay we know we know the function name we know the script include name but we cannot use the dot notation that's why uh, it is not possible so I, i'll show you that example okay so let me add here test util okay and i'll add some function here get incident short disk for example function okay uh, i'll add this uh, and i'll return i'll return grinc dot short underscore description okay i'll remove this 
okay i'll save this so now let me uh, call that script include so uh, basically how we call it is uh, variable test util is equal to new and uh, we'll call the script include script include and then uh, what we do is uh, let me store the short description which is coming from the script include function in some variable short desk okay then what we do is test util dot and then this function okay so this is how we use uh, i'll show you the different uh, way as well okay so once i submit this okay uh, i'm not printing it that's why uh, let me just refresh my screen okay so let me just print out this using gs.info and i'll add this short desk to this one okay so when i uh, executed that uh, i got the response from the script include function now um, sometimes what happen is uh, you get some such a requirement where you have the function name okay you can say variable uh, this is callback function callback function is equal to this you know the function name uh, in some variable uh, you get it from some system property or some other table or somehow now you have that in a variable you cannot use that this might be anything okay currently we have hard coded here that's why uh, we are getting like this but uh, let me just do one thing let me go to system properties sys underscore properties dot list and let me create a property okay callback dot function okay and i'll add that callback function name here okay and what i'll do is i'll just uh, get that in the script from the system property okay now that is gs dot get property and i'll call that property here okay now we don't know in the callback function what function we are uh, we have okay so uh, is it possible with the dot notation if i do like this if i do like this what it means is in a test util script include there is a function called callback function so uh, is it there it is not there if you go to this we don't have that function here we have this function okay which is stored in the system property now to call that function what you can do is uh, we can use the square notations how we can use that instead of dot we'll replace that with the square uh, brackets and inside that will add the callback function and then as this is a function we'll add the square brackets okay and now if i run this you see we got the value test here Okay. now we can pass the variables as well here so like uh, let me go and this is the variable so i'll pass it here number and it's a uh, sorry and number here okay let me save this and if i go and i can add the parameters here okay so i can pass the parameters from here and i can run this this is giving me the output and in the traditional tradition way how we did that uh, so let me just execute gs.info uh, let me comment out this and let me get this short desk comment out this as well okay short desk new test so not new test util dot the function name which we added it here and then we can pass the property uh, we can pass the params and we can print that short desk okay so yeah this is a traditional uh, this is the way uh, we use actually but if the callback function if you don't know the function name if it is stored in uh, somewhere we need to get it in some variable then we can use it like this okay 
this is the uh, square bracket notation this is how in two different ways we can call the script include function and both ways we get the same result okay so this is all about it in this video uh, so thank you very much guys